Our story begins from a city called Tuz or Tauke in the south of Iran, a city from the Elamites era that gained its glory 3,500 years later during the Sassanid era when the expansion of knowledge and textile industry in this ancient city with a legendary tree and a soft, strong and beautiful fabric called peacock fabric or Tuzi Diba made that city famous in the ancient world of that time. An Achaemenid to Sassanid king sewed themselves fancy clothes with fabrics woven from the fibers of the same tree. Fabrics exported on the Silk Road to Europe and its unique elegance and features have caused it to be mentioned several times in the Quran as the garment of paradise. In the ancient Persian poetry, there are few poets who has not paid attention to Tuzi Diba, as Nasser Khosrokobadiani composed that bring good, thin and kind words like Tuzi thread, speech should be like a thread to avoid ambiguity. The fame and expansion of this industry led to the formation of Tuzi Diba textile factories in several cities of the Sassanid era and until the beginning of the 6th century all the people of that time expanded the vast gardens of this ancient tree in the land of ancient Iran by working in this industry. And this is a tree that has attracted the attention of modern textile industry and researchers. Silk tree of kings, the Stabrak tree, which is known as Kharq, Berg, Kharq, Kharq, and Galaplap in the south of Iran, is an evergreen tree with a brilliant background in the history of ancient Iran. In addition to weaving fabric from stabrak fibers, there is historical evidence that the skin of this tree was used to strengthen bows, arrows, and horse saddles, and the same skin was also used to make Tuzi paper. This tree has white, sticky and highly toxic sap which has been used as a salve for infectious and fungal wounds in traditional Iranian medicine. Stabrak grows in Africa, Middle East, South and East Asia. The Arabic name Stabrak has other names in other cultures such as Sadum apple in Hebrew, Colotrop in Latin, Linen in French, Small crown flower in English, and Bamba in Spanish. The scientific name of tree is Calotropis procera. This tree can tolerate hot and humid to hot and dry weather and it can also withstand dehydration conditions thanks to its wool on the leaves, thick syrup, cottonwood skin, and its very deep roots. This tree grows well in sandy soils to clay and rocky areas. Stabrak is even resistant to the splashing of sea salt on the beach, and it also grows back after the fire. Apart from being evergreen and resilient against dehydration, the beautiful purple and white flowers of this tree make it a perfect way to decorate urban spaces. The swollen and oval fruit of the tree produces its very soft, silky fibers after ripening, and the fresh stem of this tree are also used to produce fibers such as linen. The passage of time has caused the knowledge of fabric weaving from these fibers to be forgotten in Iran. However, Iranian researchers have recently succeeded in producing yarn from the fibers of Stabrak. 
the importance of this industry has led the developed countries industrial cultivation of stabrak trees for the production of fabrics the unique feature of this fiber is its very low water consumption and cultivation in unfavorable soil compared to cotton and it also removes greenhouse gases compared to the production of wool and hair. Most of the countless seeds that these tree produces are gone a week after being planted. Seeds are scattered with the wind and wait for the rain to grow. One of the special beauties of these tree is the symbiotic species. Xylocopa is one of the companions of these tree, which sweet nectar of Stabrak made them its permanent guests. Research by German researchers has shown that expansion of wild bees, including Xylocopa, causes more fertility of native plants and trees in gardens and pastures. Another guest of this unique tree is monarch butterfly. This kind of butterfly is one of the beautiful species of southern Iran whose larva can feed on the poisonous leaves of this tree. Mature butterfly beauty, the larva of this butterfly and its lantern-shaped pupa are used to attract tourists in some parts of the world such as Brazil. But not all the monarch butterflies pupils turn into a butterfly. In fact, a parasitic bee lives on this tree which controls the population of these larvae. Insect eating birds such as the green bee eaters and even the honey eating birds are other guests in the stabrak tree ecosystem. The roots and twisted trunk of these tree are sometimes a nest and shelter for mammals like fox and others. In addition to supporting animals, Stabrak helps to enrich the soil with its leaves and roots. And so, Stabrak, with its toughness against heat and lack of water, has provided the earth many benefits since ancient times.